we're going to do this afternoon, this is a crash track. Now what, this, what we've got here is we've got this sled. This goes along the track. We're going to mount the rack to this sled um, and then we'll, it's on an electric motor. It will go along the track and it will stop the other end and there's a, a sort of plastic stopper the other end. And what that does is it puts a, simulates a G-force on the whole rig um, and we'll, we'll find that directly, sort of visual inspection, whether the rack has passed or failed. There are you know, certain technical regulations it has to live up to. Um, OK, what I expect to happen is it's difficult to predict. I'd say most of the rack structurally is very strong, but there's a few small um, sort of mechanisms in it, especially in the front clamp, which, which holds the front tie, which are quite delicate. So I, I'd say there's about a 50-50 chance of it surviving completely intact. I'd say maybe 30% chance we're going to see something bend or a small component break. And I'd say there's a 20% chance of a spectacular disintegration. I, 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 do, I do want it to survive because um, obviously I've designed it to survive. But I, I, there is a small part of me that would like to see flying pieces of metal. Um, that would be quite entertaining. Um, well, we started six months ago with a, with a blank sheet of paper, essentially. Just, uh, just a problem, a two paragraph problem description. Um, and then about four months of design work and, you know, kind of going through different ideas and working out what worked and what didn't. And then um, about two months of manufacture and just really a few days of testing. We don't have time to, to re-manufacture. So this, this will be prototype one and there won't be a prototype two um, because we don't have time. But maybe another group will take that up next year. That's ha that happens quite often. I suppose this is the equivalent of my dissertation. Obviously, we don't write a, you know, a long essay sort of thing for engineering. So this would be the equivalent of my dissertation. We've, uh, we spent roughly that sort of amount of time on it. Um, and it, it, it equates to a large part of the degree. Maybe 20% maybe of the degree is, is on this. And maybe between the three of us, there are three of us in the group, um, you know, a couple of thousand hours of man, man time have gone into this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling great. I'm very protective of it. I think there's a, there's a, a couple of features on this that are really rather nice. And I don't, I don't really want to break them. This front clamp was incredibly complicated to, to manufacture. That's really the sort of star of the show as far as this... Uh, this rack goes, it's really quite clever. No, the, uh, the ISO specifications, which are the rules we've got to stick, stick to, just say uh, a standard bicycle and they give dimensions and this is a fairly standard bicycle. It, you know, we, we got it for free and you, you can't criticise what you get for free too much. It wouldn't work as an actual bike anymore. But it should work as a ballast bike for this test. There is a bit, there's a bit of everything going on actually. A little bit nervous, a little bit excited. This is kind of like the final step after this, I'll just go home and we write it up, um, you know, there's no, there's no further testing or use of it. This will be the last time it's used, probably. Last minute, just, just, just checking everything is on. <laughs> uh, it looks to be intact. The bicycle's still on the rack, and uh, I can see the front fitting and the rear fitting are both intact. And it's upright. It didn't wobble much either. It looks good. That looks like a good result. We might want to check it. We we'll have to check the readout and check that the G-force was up at the specified level of eight Gs. If it wasn't, we'll crank it up and do it again. Twelve Gs that was. So that's fifty percent over the, the required amount. Well, there's a couple, couple of things we're looking at mainly. That, that one of the things we thought these, these connections might not be strong enough, but those seem to be completely intact. Again, on the, on the rear here. So these are the roof bar connections. They seem to be fine. The down bar clamp is fine. The rear fittings are, well, they're just, they're straps. They're very strong. Wasn't worried about those. Drive assembly seems to be fine. And the front clamp seems to still be intact. So. Um, yeah, so far seems like a, a perfect result. Um, 12G, no damage. Very happy with that. Slightly relieved. Yeah, <laughs> slightly relieved.